I'm Paris and I'm here at Jason KB Photo Studios with Jason. And Jason, what is pet photography? Well, pet photography is really all about capturing great images of your animals. So really highlighting them in, in beautiful uh, images that you cherish for your, for your lifetime. And why did you become a pet photographer? Well, I started, uh, um, I've always had a love of animals. So when I was growing up, our house was named the zoo. It we had a tremendous number of, of animals, great variety of species. And from there, I, I really fell in love with, with the pets, with animals. From there, I studied animal behavior at school. And while I was in university, I decided I wanted to pursue my artistic creativity a little bit more. So I decided to try photography. I really fell in love with photography. And naturally, with love of animals and love of photography, I kind of meshed the two together. I started taking some photos of the animals, particularly doing some studio work, and my clients love the images. So for the five or so years we've been doing it, we haven't turned back since. Perfect. How does uh, having someone like Gorgeous Penny here um, in the studio space differ from having like a person? Well, with a person, the big thing is you can actually communicate with them in English. So, which is, which is quite helpful, obviously. <laughs> with the dogs, you really have to learn how best to communicate with them. You have to figure out what gets them going, what, what are different ways that we could uh, get the different behaviors that we're looking for, for them. Um, so that's the big difference is really learning, each dog is different, learning really how to work with, with each one. Perfect. I'm excited to see how we get Penny to perform her best. Do you have any tips and tricks of how to get the best photo from your pet if you're just doing it at home? Yeah, the, the, what, my biggest suggestion uh, for people at home is to really make sure that you know what motivates your animal and to use that. So if, if your animal is really motivated by treats, use that to help you along. And that's, that's my number one suggestion with, uh, with animal photography. Well, from what I've seen, Penny's definitely motivated by treats, so I think we're gonna need a few today while we are getting some great shots of her, so let's do that. Perfect, I'm really looking forward to it. I think she's gonna be a great subject today in the studio. Me too. I'm Paris and I'm here at Jason KB Photo Studio in Little Italy with Jason of course and the delightful Penny. So Jason, what does a session usually look like when someone would come to your business? Yeah, so as we strive to really create really highly personal photos, really highlight the animal's personality um, in, our, in our modern portraiture, it's really important for us to really learn about the animals and learn about the client's vision for the piece. So we usually start with an in-home consult where we could meet the dogs, meet the clients, learn all about the dog's personality as well as what the client has in mind for, for what they want their pieces to look like. From there, we learn about what motivates the dogs. So for example, Penny here loves her kibble, so we would definitely want to use this in her photo <laughs> shoes. She's also really into her toys and squeaky noises, huh? Really great at getting her attention. So we would, we would learn all that, and from there, they would come to our studio for the magic happens, where we really get all the dynamic photos that we're going for. So when they do come to the studio, we would um, have them here again, learn a little bit more, see if they have any changes, what their vision is, and um, photograph the dogs here. So one great part about our process is that we shoot tethered. So the whole time we're photographing um, the dogs, the clients are able to see the photos pop up on the screen right as we're shooting them. So it's a really nice way to make sure we're getting the images we're going for during the photo shoot. So how hard is it to um, get what the client is looking for versus what the animal can perform on the day? So that's a really, really good question. Um, it makes sense to have an, a little bit of a broader vision for the piece than something really specific. We always strive to get what they're, what they're looking for and almost always do, but they're animals and we, we, always, uh, we always have to make sure that we get a broad range of images with them. Do you think we can get some good shots of Penny today? I think Penny is going to be very easy to work with. Okay, amazing. Well, lights, camera, action. She's going to steal the show today. Hi, so I'm here at Jason KB Studios and we've had our photo session and now it's time to look at the photos that have come through and to decide what we like. So what am I doing? Am I choosing all of them? Am I choosing five? Well, how many do I get to choose? So what we'll do is we'll go through uh, my selected images. So taking into account both my own artistic vision and what we've learned about Penny, what we've learned about what you're looking for in these images. And we'll go through and we'll pick out um, your favorite ones that you want to turn into the, the different products that we're looking for. So what makes a good picture? What am I looking for? So what I would strongly suggest is you look for ones that really 
that really highlight her personality and kind of bring a smile to your face. Usually we tell people to go for something that, that is with their gut reaction, um, not to necessarily look for the, the certain crop or a certain angle, more ones that really make you happy and remind you of Penny. Amazing, and how long do you spend editing the photos? Yeah, so each photo we spend between in terms of editing between 45 minutes an hour or so per image wow. um, just in the editing time in order to really make uh, the image as, as clean as we like it and really highlight all the dog's features that we want to, uh, that we want right. to show off in the photos. Let's go through some of these photos that we have today. So I really like the picture of Penny looking to the side and the one of her running. So what is the next step for me? Those are two great images that, that you selected. The next thing to do would be to figure out how they're going to fit into your space at home. So we've previously taken a photo of your living room. So if we go over here, we, we could pull that up. And the next thing is we want to see what size will work well in this space. So what we could do is we could take, take the image and superimpose it to scale in the room. And this here at 30 by 40, I think is a really nice, strong piece to have above your couch and really captivate um, the interest of all of your guests when they uh, come to visit. That's awesome that you have that software so I can really visualize what it's going to look like. So I'm really excited to move on and see all the different products that you have on offer. Great, let's do that. Yeah, right, let's do it. We've done the photography now, we've had some fun with Penny. What are my options when it comes to products that I want to turn my beautiful picture into a beautiful artwork? Yeah, that's a really great, great question. So most of our clients come to us to get something to hang on their wall. So we offer a range of different ways to do that. Anything from um, a more traditional canvas wrap that we'd have here to something a lot more um, contemporary and something for a modern space. So for example, our standouts here, which are a beautiful photograph print with a um, a stainless steel edge. So most people would go for an option like this. Other, uh, in addition to that, people love our session albums. So they're a great way to display um, an assortment of images. About 25 or so images go, would go into a uh, piece like this. In addition to that, some people might get um, small greeting cards or some smaller prints to put around um, their home. And what type of product is most popular, I have to ask? Yes, so most people would purchase um, either one larger piece or a, a series of images for their wall. And in addition, they, would, they, they can really resist the, the session elements. They, they, they really love it. So that's usually the most popular thing that people come to us for. Yeah. How do I get in touch with you? Yeah, so the best way to get in touch with us would be um, by giving us a, a, a call. Um, but definitely check out our website um, at jasonkb.com. It's a great way to learn a little bit more about the service and see our portfolio of images and how it all works. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to see the finished product today. And thank you so much for having us. My pleasure. Thanks so much for coming by today. Really excited.